What's going on everybody? As always, it's a blessing to be here. You're here with Crypto E, that's me. And if you guys are new to this channel, then by all means, subscribe to this channel with the bell notification so you can be notified every single time I drop information pack videos, just like the one you're watching right now. But that being said, guys, today's video will be about how Luna Foundation Guard has now dumped 2.4 billion, not million, but billion, from its Bitcoin reserves and failed attempt to defend ParaUSD peg stablecoin so by that being said guys let's just jump straight into the article so as we're taking a look at this guys let me scroll down and show you guys everything the luna foundation guard is the second largest known holder of bitcoin so we're just trying to clear up some introduction or you know background information before we even get started liquidated almost its entire reserve last week worth billions in a failed attempt to defend the terra ust stablecoin peg Ever since the collapse of UST and its sister governance token Luna, designed to maintain the peg throughout an algorithmic process of manipulating the latter's money supply, the entire crypto community wanted to know just one thing. What happened to LFG prodigious Bitcoin holding? And then this is quote, this is what he was asked, Changpeng CZ Dao, which is the CEO of Binance, where is all the Bitcoin? That was supposed to be used as a reserve head of crypto platform and this is what they kept asking him shouldn't those bitcoin be all used to buy back the ust first chain analysis firm elliptical tracked movements and lfg bitcoin concluded they had all the shifted to centralized exchanges binance and gemini where the trial promptly ran cold and their reserves are empty wow this is what they tweeted but you guys can just see how crazy it is and on monday the crypto community finally got an answer, which is today, where LFG posted an update of its 91,000 plus followers. Anyways, of the 80,394 Bitcoin, where it's 2.4 billion, it held on May 7th, just prior to Terra losing its dollar peg, only 313 are still held in reserve. From 80,313, that's an insane drastic amount of drop in Bitcoin holding that we have seen. The rest were liquidated between March 8th and March 10th, where Bitcoin traded 31,000 to 35,000. And it's just crazy that we're seeing it just being liquidated extremely fast, but also they're trying to, you know, cover up all the lies of them saying, hey, what's going on with it? Is this is something going to come back up or is this something that's just going to be lost forever? Are people will, or will people even be insured or will people be recovering any of that data or any of their money? We still have not received an answer for that. So I'm sure that's going to be a no. But this is another topic that we'll be following into. But just update quickly. Monday's update suggests there is little remaining value left in the project. Apart from roughly 65 million in Avalanche. And basically all their cryptocurrency journeys have come to an end. And this is a funny quote he said by my hand. Die will die. It's just the arrogance of this person right here. Do Kwan. But then somebody said this, bite my hand, die, would die, peace. But it was just a funny thing. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the Vitalik Buterin tweets that he made saying, ensure, he made saying that even any small investor should be insured. Ethereum co-founder says, every average small holder impacted by Terra stablecoin crash should be made whole. Cites FDIC 250,000, you know, that's their uh, protection as precedent. But I don't believe... The FDIC insurance works for crypto and I'll show you guys what I mean by that because cryptocurrency is not legal tender and is not backed by the government cryptocurrencies including but are not limited to tokens such as Bitcoin Litecoin Ethereum stable coins the main thing we have to focus on and USDC which is a stable coin such as USDC which is a stable coin is not subject to federal deposit insurance corporation FDIC or securities investor protection corporation protection which is basically saying that they will not be protected. Nobody will be protected from this drastic drain of supply and everything that has happened with Terra Luna and obviously no one will get their money back. That's the whole FDIC because cryptocurrencies are not considered a legal tender. 
But continuing on, he said the obvious precedent in FDIC insurance two hundred fifty thousand per person. An, in an interesting, unrelated one in Singapore employee law: strong regulation for low earning employees and a more figure it out yourself approach for the wealthier. In his opinion, he said things like this are good hybrid formulas. Around four thousand five hundred for a workman, not more than that, and an employee who is not a workman around two thousand six hundred per month. But this is just you know Singapore's thing, and we're taking a look at. Vitalik Buterin's tweet. Yeah, you know, he made a statement and we have a reaction to that as well. And he's trying to be on the side of the good side, as always. That's why I believe he didn't take the power that it came with when it was donated to him. If you guys know what I mean, when it was donated, when, when Shiba Inu's 50% supply was donated to him, he did not want that kind of power. That's why he gave it back to the, you know, donations of to the India COVID relief fund. And then burn some and all these things as well. But that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning into this video. I wanted to quickly touch on this basis and tell you guys what's really going on with Luna. And will anybody getting be getting their money back? I believe 99% chance no, not at all, because cryptocurrencies, including stablecoins, are not legal tender yet. With no regulations comes no rescues and no heroes. But that being said, I appreciate you guys for tuning into this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.